Hello and welcome to another video. Today we will show you step by step how to configure a RAID 0. Step 1. Insert the HDDs into the designated slot. In our example we use two Seagate Barracuda HDDs with 2TB of storage capacity each. Step 2. Connect the HDDs. In this setup we need two serial ATA and two power cables. Step 3. Now my colleague will explain you how the RAID 0 must be configured at the BIOS. To configure the RAID you need to press the delete key after you turn on your computer. After pressing the key you will enter the BIOS. There you need to click on peripherals. Now you can see all peripheral settings. Go to Intel R Rapid Storage Technology and press the Enter button on your keyboard. In the next window, you need to click on Create RAID Volume. Now you can rename your RAID Volume. In our test, we named it Test RAID 0. The next step allows you to choose which RAID configuration you want to get. In our case, we chose RAID 0. After that, you can select your hard drives by pressing Enter and select the X symbol. The last step is to click on Create Volume. After that, you just need to save your settings, go to the point Save and Exit in the upper part of the BIOS and choose the first subpoint Save and Exit Setup. In order to clarify the speed difference between RAID 0 and no RAID, we will now do a few tests. Windows 10 installation on RAID 0. RAID 0 installation time 3 minutes and 21 seconds. Windows 10 installation on no RAID. No RAID installation time 4 minutes and 14 seconds. RAID 0 speed test. Last but not least, we want to know how exactly the speed difference looks like. The following benchmark will test the read and write speed of both settings. No RAID speed test. The RAID 0 setup reads and writes almost twice as fast as a no RAID setup. If you value speed and know that only one hard disk may fail, you should set up a RAID 0. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe. To finish the video in style, it will end with a little computer porn.